Alright guys, and we are back with more Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Justice for All, and this layout looks really good, but the thing is, <laughs> it came too late into play, <laughs> so I might use it for the next game, yeah, we're playing Trials and Tribulations, but it's not going to be right after this, it's probably going to be like a couple, I want to say about several months before we even tackle trial, Trials and Tribulations, but right now, it's about Turnabout Goodbye, or Farewell, turn, Mr. Turnabout. I don't know the name of this title. It's about this chapter right now. We'll worry about trials and tribulations later. Alright, so what we need to do now is, I believe... Can we present them with anything? Well... Present the press conference later. Would you take a look at this for me? Listen, pal. I'm not leaking any info about the evidence to you this time. If I do, my salary is really gonna get it. And then I won't even be able to get those instant noodles down at the discount market. Damn. That's horrible. Why do they keep slashing his salary? Like, Gumshoe. Gumshoe is the man. He saved us from freaking getting whacked. In the, uh, I think it happened in this game. No, it was the first game that happened, right? Wait. When did that happen? It happened in the first game. He saved us from the bad questions. We almost got erased. And then he helped us out last case with this, the scarf. I'm not leaking any information, blah, 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 blah. What about my attorney's badge? Would you like to take a look at this for me? Listen, pal, he won't even look at my attorney's badge. He won't acknowledge me, senpai. Don't be a dick, dick. I'm out of here. You're being a dick. All right, well, can we move to a different place now? The hotel lobby. <laughs> Where is, um, you know what, where is, what's gonna call it, let's examine some of this room first, where's Maya, where'd Maya go, it's the stage for the post ceremony stage show, it was supposed to be a press meeting after the show, but now, looks like no one will hear what the nickel samurai had to confess, the nickel samurai, these cameras must belong to the press that came to cover the conference. They're all basically doing the same thing, <laughs> staring at the empty stage. Damn. Oh my goodness, her face is all crazy looking. A lobby with a grand staircase always feels enormous, but right now the only thing filling this enormous room is an anxiety about the murder. I really hope nothing else bad happens here. <laughs> Do I have to look at something here? There's probably something I'm missing. There's a stage over here. The war ceremony was just held on that stage. It was really fabulous. You just reminded me of the circus for a moment. I said the word fabulous. I was just about to say that. I wonder if everyone is alright. I heard that very big circus just recently started holding performances again. I'm sure they're all fine, Pearls. Hmm, I wonder how they got got around. Like, did they have enough, have enough money to pay the actors? Hmm. I guess I, sh I should probably ask about on guard. The Nickel Samurai, he really talked to Grand Prix tonight. Mai's a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Man on guard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Corrado. What? Now do we have to say anything new? Yep, arrested. Why was Mr. Ungard arrested? Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just invest started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another steel samurai. Hero is in hot water. Oh, uh, Mr. Nick, if Mr. Maya knew about this, she would flip out. Yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case, I know. <laughs> the hell out of here do we can't will there be a new event no new event here let's go to the hotel lobby now ah here we go march 20th gatewater hotel hotel lobby it's the after party party and at the after party so what's going on mr right it looks like juan carita has been killed what juan he's he was murdered. 
and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Ungard. You're joking, right? Nope. They arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murder and the Gemis Ninja. Not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago. Something just like this happened, Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way, Matt Wood. What Mr. Powers got in his oh, what's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, before I forget, this this is for you, Mr. Wright. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. Radio transceiver, huh? Received from Mr. Powers. For me, but why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. Matt and Juan. The Nico Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but he kept adding fuel to the fire of his rivalry with Juan. Juan is the Juan. He's the Gemma Ninja Juan. Yeah, yeah, those two would butt heads every now and then. But I have to say that Matt was the one who will always come on top. Juan said that he'd take Matt on the on this time too, so he joined a rival TV show. Hmm. The Jammin' Ninja, huh? Stylish Nickel Samurai and the Burning Jammin' Ninja. It was hot. It was fierce. The rivalry. Things turned messy. <laughs> things turned messy real fast with those two using their shows for their war. And they find in the final tally. Look, look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended. Hmm, Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. Press conference. Press conference. Mr. On Guard was going to hold the press conference, wasn't he? I got a phone call, let me answer this. Toll free call 1-866-315-4996. I'm not picking up the shit. Uh, da -da 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 -da. that's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai's conference. The Nickel Samurai, the Nickel Samurai. He was supposed to wear his conference and give the press conference that way. So he was supposed to be in costume, but why? But I'm not sure, they don't keep me in the loop anymore. That's probably substantial evidence. <laughs> um, I was just wondering, where's Mystic Maya? She's been gone a long time. I, I was just saying that. Maybe she got lost, probably. I'll take a quick look around. Go do that, per wait, should we really leave Pearls alone? Oh, I got, I got a phone call. What is it, Mr. Nick? I'm not sure. Did this transceiver just... Yes, hello, right here. This is Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney. And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... Help, Nick! Oh, shit! Maya! So, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Come now. Don't fall apart on me yet. No, this can't be. Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. If you do what I require, then I will return to you your valuable item unharmed. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Kidnapping for ransom? Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. Oh shit, our first kidnapping! Oh shit! New music! My sight, everything's fading away! Maya! Maya's been kidnapped! You there, Mr. Wright, are you there? How much? How much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and state your condition and then return Maya! Money is not what I see. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need? 
I am not the person you will be representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan was killed and the suspect is Matt. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Attorney. Now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. What? So... But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... However? However what? However someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. What? Someone's framing Matt so he's innocent. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to believe me or not. However, there is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is what me in my possession. Nick! Maya! And you, Yasha Kagome! <laughs> of course! Tonight, he will be in questioning with the police. But the trial's in two days. At that trial, you will win not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance, one shot, one chance, Mr. Wright. One? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly, yes. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you, so don't let me down. Ah! Oh! The Charlie Brown, oh, that's right. And now that I'm playing the role of a kidnapper, I can't pass off this chance to say. And don't even think about calling the cops. Not great, but you get the idea. Damn it! Who, who are you? Who the hell are you? Phoenix needs to channel his inner Jack Bauer. Maya, channel Jack Bauer right now. I'll tell you that much. My name is... The Killer. <laughs> his name is The Killer. These killer nuts. Oh, man, he set me up for that. He got me. Mr. Nick, where's Mystic Maya? She's been kidnapped. My bad, guys. I had to check something. It's all my fault. If only I had gone with Mystic Maya. It's not your fault, Pearls. But it is, Mystic Maya. Mr. Wright, I think we... I think we should tell the police what's going on. No, we can't do that. If we do that, who knows what will happen to Maya? Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe knows what's already going on. Yes, that's it. Wait here, and I'll be right back. Aw, shit. People kidnapping Maya. We can't fuck up. What? Ransom? Not so loud. The Ransom is complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya. You mean... Then this mean Matt on guard is obviously the killer, pal. No doubt about it. But the guy said that Matt... Mr. Ungard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? I guess he has a point. If Ungard is really innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of that, there's all this evidence we keep finding. The guys with the eagle eyes are really laughing it up like they just caught a huge fish. But it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence. Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about unguarded being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Just sit tight and cooperate with the investigation. Tomorrow, you can start yours. Alright. Is there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. You're right. Aw, shit. It just got real. <laughs> this game just got real. Date, time, location. Damn. Can't she just... You know, this is what I'm thinking. What she could probably do is uh, turn to Maya, or at least tell Maya what's going on. And then, after Maya, you know, gets out of that situation, after she gets done transforming, sending the message to Mia or whatever. You know, transforming to Mia, and then telling the message or whatever. I don't, I don't know how it works exactly. And then Pearls turns into freaking Mia, and then message delivered. She knows where they at, but you know what? Never mind. I don't even think Maya would know where she's at. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. 
Whoa. Is this a cellar? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick. Pearls. Come on, guys. This isn't funny anymore. Whoa! Creepy ass dude. <laughs> I see if you are woke. Who are you? Me? I am known as the killer. The killer? <laughs> you mean like an assassin? <laughs> Assassin's Creed, don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Where are you, Nick? Yes, that's right. Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Nick? Nick's going to save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. A business transaction? I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your assigned role. Nick! What's going to happen to me? Nick! Sheesh. You better contact Mia, let her know what's going on, and then, by chance, Pearls might turn into Mia and know what's going on. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you already have. I think you have other things you should be concerning yourself with. Just as... March 21st, 8, 11 a.m. Right in Gold Law Offices. Good morning! Whoa! Good morning, Pearls! Come on, Nick! Get your ass up! We have to wait a bit, Pearls! Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... Oh, I see. Mystic Maya, if only... If only I went with you that time! Bro, Pearls, he's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening. Thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her hand by the or gently holding her by her hand and leading her here. But by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all. Yeah, she's alright. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Please, please help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected. Because Pearls is doing the crime for the both of us. How poetic. What to do? Um, I have a thought. What? You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. But what if... What if he is the real murderer? What would you do then, Mr. Nick? Would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mystic Maya? This is quite a predicament, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? In guard, in guardy. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I I can't stop thinking about it. Maya situation. Bros, you're really worried about Maya, aren't you? What do you mean? Oh yeah, that's right. Father, left left her mother in the village. Damn, and then her aunt. Oh damn. In jail, she did that thing all for me. And then Maya and Mia. Damn. That's messed up. Yo, we gotta we gotta go we gotta go say some things to Mr. Unguard. Pretty boy Unguard Day. March twenty first, eight fifty seven AM Detention Center. Visitors room. All right. Good morning. How are you today? I know this situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Oh, sorry, dude. I already signed up. Excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know... Oh, no, no, no. We're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. What? Fire extinguishers, I mean. This building isn't my house, so... No, 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 we're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? 
What the? Hold on a second. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? How does he have a phone in jail? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick, this is our chance. I have to make him... I have to make him let me take his case. Wow. This dude looks like a numb nuts. He looks like numb nuts. Definition of numb nuts. Not numb numb, but numb nuts. Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but uh, do my autobiography is coming out soon, so if I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm really gonna be in hot water. Be do be do do be be do. Hold on a sec, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up my publisher, okay? Oh uh, no, nah, man, no, nah, man, I ain't in jail. I'm in the studio right now. <laughs> Mr. Ungard is so lucky. He has so many people he can talk to. I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? <laughs> Does he even have one? Mr. On Guard, I would like to ask you to be about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid or a side job, dude? Well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, 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 I'm, I'm not asking on behalf of the tabloid. No, stop! Stop! How are you using a phone in jail? I should slap you right now. I'm gonna ask the president of the studio, okay? Hey, yeah, man, um, yeah, I'm in the studio right now. Is he alright, Mr. Nick? We're talking about Mr. Ongar's brand here. I wouldn't put my money on it. Oh, sorry about that. The studio president said, even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Well, Mr. Nick? What's Neo Mount Fuji? It's a mountain in the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city of the Nickel Samurai protest. What the hell? Let's show him my badge, maybe? Mr. Ungard, this is an attorney's badge. Dude, I'm sorry, but I don't have the free time to be looking at things like that. Huh? I'm much too busy with Nickel Samurai stuff right now. I don't have time to take to lawyer's correspondence course. What? Why does he believe I'm a salesman? Insurance then extinguishes. Now this. Wait. The Nickel Samurai. Let's ask him about that, I guess. Dude, I know I like to throw money around, but it's not like I buy anything and everything. That's nice because it's not up for sale anyway. Maybe I should present Juan. Do you know much about Juan? Man, it's too bad he's dead. You killed him. That's the most logical conclusion, don't you agree? Dude, what are you talking about? You're making a huge mistake. If that's such a mistake, then why did they issue an arrest warrant for you? Oh, uh, hold on a second. I'm gonna ask the guy in charge of this place, okay? Yeah, yeah, what up, dude? You know I'm in the studio. Stars sure know a lot of people, don't they? I wonder if that phone even really gets reception in here. Um, I guess you're right about the one after all. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we might be making some progress. <laughs> Did we get something new unlocked? Nope. No, let's not move. It's something we have to present to him. How about we ask him if he's the murderer and present the damn Magatama? Bam, K saw. Oh, wait, no, but we still gotta worry about Maya, that's right. Let's present Will Powers. I've seen him somewhere before. Is he a member of my fan club? That's Mr. Powers. Isn't he supposed to be kind of like a mentor to you? Powers, oh yeah, he's the guy on that kids exercise program. I gave him an autograph just the other day. Camera. Smile, you're on candid camera. The stone guard keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. <laughs> this guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet you could forget he was even there. If he wasn't watching everything, he's 
pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. Mm. Represent minus Magatama. Radio transceiver. Mr. Nick, what are you going to do with that? I don't know yet, but I figured I could at least show it to him. Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present from someone. Interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude, that's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. This coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist? What about the press conference ticket? What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were going to give one after... Winning the Grand Prix, right? Why are you in costume no less? Oh, yeah, I never heard of anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I always leave that kind of stuff to my manager. He didn't know? That's kind of odd. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. Please wait! I really need to take your case, bro. There's always other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Whew. I had, I had to get that out. Oh, my bad. I was holding that in for like a good 50 minutes. But anyway, man, man oh man, lawyers these days. Now, <laughs> now you dudes use kids to pull in clients too? If you don't take me as your lawyer, then the killer is going to... Wait, what did you just say? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. Alright, dude, I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it, we did it, Mr. Nick. You had to think of something over real quick. I don't feel any better for it. He doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead, ask me anything. I'll help you out as much as I can. Mad on guard. Man, I thank my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. So, of course. I didn't know who he is. I didn't know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Ah, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately, I just keep on getting more and more popular. Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze? That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna be bad. Everyone loves a good scandal. <laughs> what happened? After I got the I, I was sipping on this soapy, my bad. <laughs> After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. Hmm. Hmm. Told you, dude, I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange, I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, I was leaving my room, that's when I noticed it was kind of noisy. Mr. Corridor. Mr. Wan. But the way he's always talking about his manager is as if she runs his life. And that's when the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me and then, out of the blue, the dude arrested me. About you and the victim, Mr. Wan. What sort of... That's got nothing to do with anything, dude. Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell he's the same age as me. And he wanted to try making a Jammy Ninja movie even though we all know it fell. Damn! The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by my storm. So what, what... So why would I, the killer, have any reason to kill the guy? Dude, you'd think it'd be the other way around, you know?
I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. Why would you have that? A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants. I really think someone planted it there, though. Serious. I guess this is about to go. Mm, excuse me. I guess this is about all I'm going to get out of him. Mr. Nick? Yeah? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. Ungard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that? Yes. If you use this. I was just saying that earlier. I was like, why don't we ask him if he's really the murderer and then see how he responds to it. He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. Mr. Ungard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Wan? Wait, I gotta, I gotta call. Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. All right, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corrida. Oh no, no, no locks! Wow, no locks! Oh, Mr. Nick, not a chain or lock in sight. So I guess he did get set up, which means I think it's all right to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe and. I saw a release knowing my client to edit it. <sighs> um, the trial is tomorrow. I've been recording for like four hours. You gotta, you gotta give me a break. <laughs> the trial is tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. Dude, to be continued, dude. Oh my god, find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. No, I'm just kidding. See you guys next time. I'm gonna finish right. Because I'm always right. Got the evidence.